What if I told you there's a place on Earth so remote, so isolated, that the closest human to it is often an astronaut orbiting hundreds of miles above our planet? What if I told you this place harbors more mysteries than the depths of the ocean itself? A location where no one can hear you scream, where even the creatures of the deep steer clear of its dark, desolate waters? A spot so far removed that if something or someone were to vanish here, they would likely never be found? Welcome to Point Nemo, the loneliest place on Earth. The mysterious void. Point Nemo isn't just another spot on a map, it's the most isolated location on the planet. Nestled in the heart of the South Pacific Ocean, this enigmatic place is over 1,600 miles, 2,688 kilometers, away from the nearest landmass. That's about the same distance as traveling from New York to Dallas, except there's nothing but endless ocean in every direction. No human settlements, no passing ships, no rescue, should you happen to need one. It was officially pinpointed in 1992 by a Croatian-Canadian survey engineer named Hervoje Lukatila, using advanced GPS calculations. But despite its discovery, no human has ever physically ventured to this desolate spot. At least, not intentionally. Unlike famous remote locations like Antarctica, where research stations exist, Point Nemo is utterly lifeless. Its name, inspired by Jules Verne's famous submarine captain, translates to no one in Latin. And true to its name, no one truly knows what lies beneath its depths. The waters around Point Nemo are part of the South Pacific Gyre, one of the least hospitable areas for marine life due to the lack of nutrient-rich currents. Few creatures can survive here, making it eerily empty. But why? What lies beneath this abyss? What secrets does it conceal? Deep-sea experts estimate that the ocean floor at Point Nemo plunges to depths of over 13,000 feet for 1,000 meters. That's deep enough to swallow the entire Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. And yet, this abyss remains vastly unexplored. Could there be ancient wreckage hidden far below? Unseen species lurking in the darkness? Or even the remnants of something not of this Earth? The spacecraft graveyard. Perhaps the creepiest fact about Point Nemo is that it serves as a graveyard for things not of this world. Since the 1970s, space agencies from around the globe, including NASA, Roscosmos, the European Space Agency, and China's CNSA, have chosen this watery void as the final resting place for decommissioned satellites, space stations, and other orbital debris. More than 260 spacecraft have met their watery grave here, including the legendary Mir space station. The controlled crashes are carefully calculated, ensuring that the debris safely plunges into the vast emptiness of the South Pacific rather than endangering populated areas. But what happens to these abandoned relics once they settle beneath the waves? Do they simply rust away in the eternal darkness, or could something or someone be watching from below? Many scientists believe that deep-sea currents and immense pressure slowly erode the wreckage, leaving behind only fragments of humanity's technological history. But others speculate that some of these spacecraft may have become habitats for undiscovered deep-sea life, or, in more chilling theories, that something entirely unknown could be lurking in the abyss, hidden from the world's eyes. The secrets of Point Nemo remain buried under thousands of feet of water. And until someone dares to explore its depths, they may never be uncovered. The unexplained signals. If Point Nemo wasn't mysterious enough, in 1997, researchers from the NOAA, America's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, picked up something chilling. A sound. A deep, thunderous, otherworldly sound that scientists named the bloop. This wasn't just any noise. It was one of the loudest underwater sounds ever recorded. So loud that it was picked up over 3,000 miles away. Scientists struggled to explain it, claiming it was most likely a natural occurrence. Maybe shifting ice or underwater volcanic activity. But the problem? The bloop originated eerily close to Point Nemo. Could something enormous be lurking beneath its depths? Something ancient? Something waiting? Strange theories. Fact or fiction? Many conspiracy theorists have claimed that Point Nemo is not just a lonely spot in the ocean. It's something far greater. Some believe it to be a gateway to an underwater civilization, possibly the ruins of an ancient, forgotten empire. Could Point Nemo be the last remnant of Atlantis? 
or maybe something even older something not human others claim that the region is a secret testing ground for governments where advanced technology perhaps even extraterrestrial in origin is being hidden from the world with no eyes to witness no land in sight and nothing but the abyss below what better place to conceal something beyond our understanding and then there's the darkest theory of all the idea that we are not alone could point nemo be a watching post an interdimensional beacon calling to forces beyond earth what if the bloop wasn't just an underwater earthquake but something waking up a monstrous leviathan waiting beneath the waves something we were never meant to disturb a place of no return no one has ever physically visited point nemo no research vessel has dared drop a man submersible into its depths why because it is simply too far too dangerous too unknown even the bravest explorers hesitate at the thought of descending into its crushing darkness the pressure alone could obliterate a submarine the silence deafening the emptiness endless so the question remains what truly lies beneath are we avoiding it because we fear the isolation or because we fear what's waiting there maybe just maybe we were never meant to find out